All right. So now I'm going to do a demo here on doing a reductive black and white monotype. So I'm going to tape a little bit of my black ink, stir it up. And I can probably just put a little dab a little bit right here on the plate. If you want to, you could actually tape off um, the edges so you get a nice clean edge. I'm just going to kind of do something a little bit more organic. So you can roll up the whole plate if you want. I am just going to roll up a small section of it. And you want your ink nice and smooth, not too gloppy. If you see big layers of ink on the roller, on the plate, you have too much ink out. And you can wipe a little off and then just smooth it out. And now I'm going over it and picking up my roller and sort of moving through the ink to make it nice and smooth. And one of the nice things about using plexiglass is you can see through it. So you can pick it up and sort of look at your plate to see if it's thicker or thinner, or if you have roller marks that you don't like, right? So this is very similar to doing a charcoal drawing where you put charcoal over the whole paper in a race uh, to pull out your image. So I'm just gonna be using some Q-tips here, right? And so what you're doing is you're just taking out maybe some highlights. So you're leaving the darker areas that you want to print. So whatever your image is, you can use a rag, you could use your finger, you could use a paper towel. Um, I'm just kind of using a Q-tip right here to take away some highlights. And if you don't like it, right? You go, oh, I made a mistake, I don't like how that looks. Just roll it back over and start over again, all right? So you can use Q-tips. You can take a little bit of paper towel, wipe away some imagery, right? Go back, maybe clean that up a little bit. So, just making some highlights. It's not going to spend too much time, but so I'm just going to make sort of quick face image. And you'll spend a lot, you can spend a lot more time on this than I am. I just want to give you an idea of what we're doing. Right? So you can kind of blot with the paper towel. You can get some texture in there. All right, so once you have what you want, is you want to take your paper, and I'm just going to use the edge of my plexi plate, it's registration, but I'll show you how you can make a registration template. So I'm just going to use my Baron. Put some pressure on there. And what I'm wanting to do is just to adhere the paper to the plate. You don't want it to move, but I'm using some pressure. And some people like to actually put a piece of newsprint over this. So they would use a second paper, put it over. Um, so just so if they get ink on the back of the paper, it doesn't get their bare and dirty. So at this point, you can take a little peek, see what you've got. So it's kind of light because I'm just using the pressure of the Baron. So this is where the burnisher that I showed you, the etching burnisher can come in handy because, and the other nice thing about it is, so now I think you can even see right there how it's getting darker. 
because you, you got to be careful with the etching burnisher because it's sharp and you don't want to rip the paper but you could almost go in and draw with the burnisher so in other words i could go in with this and very carefully i'm pressing on here kind of emphasize certain areas because this will print darker than others right and you just got to kind of take some time with it but i'm just selectively burnishing part of the image or conversely you could actually do this over the entire block and it takes a little bit of time but the nice thing about this is you have really great control with it. If you had too much ink on here, it tends to kind of blob out. And when you're hand printing, you have a little bit more control and that tends to happen less. So if we look at this now, you can see that where I did with the burnisher is much darker. So perhaps maybe you want to just emphasize that part of the face, right? So you could leave it there. You could also kind of almost like literally draw, make new marks with your etching burnisher, right? So if I just sort of do this, in essence, I'm making new marks and I'm drawing by the way I'm printing it, right? See those marks? So if I take this off now, I have some lighter areas down at the bottom where just the burn the baron did and then this are areas where i burnished with the etching burnisher and pulled off more ink and then this kind of gives a new pattern up at the top so right there that could be one print now you've still got a good amount of ink on this block so one thing i can do is i can take the release agent Get a nice clean little area here. Put out just a little bit of this. Take another roller. Spread this out a little bit more. Again, nice sort of smooth, not too thick of the release agent. And what I can do is very lightly roll over the block that I already have ink on. Right, with the release agent. I'm rolling over sort of what we've called the ghost because there's still a little bit of ink on the plate, but it wouldn't, if I print this, it won't be quite as dark as the first one. And what the release agent does is sort of loosens up this ink that's already on the plate. And you might get a little bit of offset on your roller. And I can print another one. Now, it's not going to be exactly like the first one, because these are monoprints, they're one of a kind. These are actually monotypes, excuse me for saying monoprints, these are monotypes. And I'm gonna line my paper up again. All right, take my Baron. And I'd probably wait a couple minutes after you put the release agent on since I'm doing this video, I did it right away, but it actually helps to wait a few minutes and let it kind of sink into the ink that you have on the block. And again, you can kind of peek at it before you pull your print off, right? So you can see it's kind of a negative where those lines were black before, since I took off the ink, it's white on this one. And just in the same way, I can take my burnisher and Again, highlight some different areas to take more ink off because I'm getting a lot more localized pressure when I use the etching burnisher versus the Baron. Right? But it's a lot lighter because I have a lot less ink on there. But still, I have a second print from the first, which is called a ghost. Now, these can be considered finished, or I can go back in and I could print something else on top of either one of those. So monotypes can be a one-shot deal, or you can layer and layer and layer more ink 
on each print. Okay, so let's see what you can do doing a black and white reductive monotype. Try printing singular prints and then try printing the ghost and see what you get.